Servus Freunde, mein Name ist Jimmy Kate. What? What's going on, buddy? Calm down, Jimmy. Everything's going to be alright. Just do as I say. Hands up. Hands up! Alright. Uh, sir? Yes, sir, yes, sir. <coughs> Wait a minute. Jim. Uh, 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 it's not even loaded. What is this? A costume party? Well, I, I just thought. <laughs> Jimmy! Servus, Freunde. My name is Jimmy Cage. Yes, I got this guy at the night. God damn it, this our single mark. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and I'm Dennis, the Buddy Meister. And once a month we let all of our awesome patrons and YouTube members decide which movie we should review next. The last poll was all about Tamir thrillers and it was pretty close. On YouTube it looked like Tani Oduwan would win, but on Patreon everybody voted for Managaram. And when we combine both of them, the latter emerged victorious. The next poll is already up as well and this time it's all about movies by Marina Sen. The options are Akaler Sandane, aka In Search of Famine, Ekdin Achanak, aka Suddenly, One Day, and Patatik, aka The Guerrilla Fighter. If you want to vote, please consider becoming a patron on patreon.com slash the Jimmy Cage or a YouTube member. Managaram, which means metropolis or simply city, was released in 2017 and it was written and directed by Lokesh Kanagaraj. It stars Shri, Sundeep Kishan, Regina Cassandra, Charlie and Munish Kant. And Lokesh Kanagaraj is actually no stranger to us. We already reviewed Kaiti together and I also watched and reviewed last year's Master on my own. His new film Vikram is easily one of the most anticipated Indian films of this year. If only because he was able to bring Kamal Hassan, Fahad Fazil and Vijay Setupati together on screen. But from the three movies of his that I have seen so far, Managaram is easily my favorite. I really enjoyed this one. I liked it too and I think it's better than Kaiti, although that one probably had the more intriguing and driving plot behind it. I'm just not a big fan of these interlinked story movies where the parts are slowly put together. But Managaram actually did a pretty good job. I was surprised how gripping it was at times. I like that most of the characters don't even have a name. Something that I didn't pick up on immediately, but that becomes clear later on. By not giving them names, they appear more like random representatives of this big city that also quite randomly are entangled in this pretty crazy story. We're set in Chennai. There are different characters that either already live in the city or just move there to find a job and get a better life. There's the educated villager, played by Shri, the brash rowdy, played by Sundeep Kishan, the employee of an IT firm, played by Regina Castandra, the new cab driver, played by Charlie, and a bunch of gangsters who accidentally kidnap the wrong boy, namely the son of the biggest underworld boss who was played by Madhu Sudan. There's a lot going on, and at first it's not that easy to follow, but the style and the slightly over-the-top atmosphere keep you at it. And that's good, because the movie gets more intense or more thrilling. It's a pretty tight script, but I think it also has a wonderful dose of dark humor. There's some situational comedy, the characters can be fun, and the way the story unfolds with these little twists and unexpected turns is just pretty entertaining. Yeah, occasionally it's a little bit too cool for me. I mean, I love the style and the intense colors, but it's probably that over-the-top atmosphere that you you mentioned that disrupted the otherwise rather gritty and realistic vibe for me. I get that, but I was really taken in by the characters and I also quite enjoyed how the entire story is unfolding over this very limited time frame of about two days and nights I think. It shows you how many crazy things can happen and how many random people can get involved that you didn't even know of. The city itself is integrated quite nicely. Every now and then it reminded me of Michael Mann's Collateral, although Collateral is way more reflective and more grainy and simply not as slick as Managaram. But still, the way it was shown in this labyrinthine, but also sometimes overseeable and small fashion fit the plot perfectly. It's a nice city texture and I loved some of the locations and how they are presented and connected to the rest of the story. For example the laundromat in which the big gangster boss PKP is torturing some people or letting them get tortured while he's on the phone. That whole situation with his kidnapped son is pretty hilarious, especially when the kidnappers realize their mistake and have no other option than to double down on it. Absolutely. Although the character of Winnings can be very annoying at times with all his 
babbling and nervous reactions. But I like Tree's character, how angry and frustrated he is the whole time. He's coming from some small village and he doesn't even like all the hectic and angry attitude of the city. And then it's him who gets beaten up at the beginning for being mistaken for someone else. I just find it quite amusing, the idea that you are coming to a new place and you are instantly greeted with this hostility. Oh yes, and all the pressure that immediately falls upon him out of nowhere. They've done a good job in conveying this pressure that pretty much falls upon every character at some point. The narrative is built with thought, and that's what makes this movie so suspenseful. And as hilarious as some situations can be, there are some outbursts of violence in this movie that can be quite startling. There are some missed chances or secondary plotlines that fizzle out though. Regina Cassandra's character, for example, it could have been integrated a little bit more into the whole story, especially since she's the only important woman in the entire film. That's what also causes the love story between her and Zundeep Kishan's character to be a bit bland. Well, I agree, it's rather forgettable. But I kind of like the love songs. They are of course a pretty big tonal shift when compared to all the other music, which is also pretty cool, but somehow I enjoyed this sometimes crude mixture. I actually can't remember one song or any of the music. I'm completely blanking here. Anyway, what did you think of the climax? Well, I enjoyed the whole thing and how crazy it all becomes, but I also think that the movie is really drawing it out in the last hour or so. It could have been trimmed down for sure and as a result it did drag a little bit for me. I also think that most of the time it works quite well when we jump between the characters and locations, but in the finale it does diminish some of the tension when we go back and forth between the two climaxes. It feels a bit jolted. Uh, I had no issues with the back and forth, but you could have probably cut 20 minutes or so, no problem, but I've seen worse. We both have seen worse. Managaram is actually able to keep an appropriate amount of tension. I had my issues with the cheesiness and the rather preachy nature of it all, and that some things are becoming a bit too commercial in the end, with the fighting and the coolness. I didn't perceive it as that preachy, to be honest, and yeah, overall it is a pretty entertaining thriller with some fun twists and a nice dose of humor, and it probably doesn't want to be anything more. Although it tries to incorporate some kind of message regarding life in the big city and the way it is represented to the outside world. Something is wrong with that message in the end. How the two stand at the motorcycles, how they convey that they are ready to take on everyone. It's not cool to get broken by a city and become a ruthless street fighter, and it's depicted like it's something cool and good. I don't know. Interesting. I didn't nearly see it as fatalistic and grim as you did. I saw it more like a positive. To work together, to trust each other, also seen previously with Shri's character and the cab driver. One can be totally on their own, even in such a crowded place like a big city, but it's better to make some good friends. I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. So what would we say in German about Managadam? Managaram ist ein unterhaltsamer, stilsicherer und dichter Action-Thriller, der das Ende etwas zu lange hinauszögert und hier und da vielleicht etwas zu moralisieren wirken kann. I give Managaram 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.3, but I don't do that. For me it's also 7 out of 10. It's more like 6.6, but I don't do that either. <lacht> Did you know that Chennai, then still called Madras, was the only city in India that was attacked during World War I? That's some serious trivia, buddy. Didn't know that. It was attacked by sea on the night of September 22nd in 1914. Well, good to know. So, what are your thoughts about Managaram? Leave a comment and hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up on Twitter at the Bodymeister. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell.